What is going on viewers, it's Ryan RMA here as always, so welcome back to the channel, welcome if you're new around here, so finally back on Forza 7 with another video, it's been a while, it's been about 10 days as we get off the line here in S class around Suzuka East, I believe it's, yeah, East, Suzuka East, we are, uh, we're going to be driving the 08 Viper as you can see, and we have 3rd place and 1st place also in 08 Vipers, but I believe they are using different tunes and different builds, so we're going to see how things work out at the end of this race, so as you can see here, lap 1 going through the S's, and no I noticed this guy is not really that quick as we tap him a little bit, we're just going to stay in behind him for now, and we, again another tap, so this guy not taking the best, the quickest lines around the S's, or maybe he's just got more straight line speed. Maybe his PI is stacked up somewhere else. So as we go to go down to the down on the main straight, as you can see here, he's pulling away really quickly. So that means he's got his PI stacked up more towards the straight line speed. But my car, this two, this two is just all out grip and handling. Basically, everything that can improve the hand, the uh, uh, handling of the car. Is installed on this car so it's gonna be a really really pain in the ass to get past this guy unless he makes a mistake because Suzuka East not really there's not much overtaking opportunity unless into turn one and two which by the time we get to turn one or two turn one and two he's just pulled he's just you know developed a big enough gap for me to uh, for him to you know prevent me from dive bombing him or I don't know going for me so as you can see, coming out of the final corner, sliding a little bit, and that's just gonna cost me down the main straight because he's just gonna pull away quicker, uh, quicker than usual. But it doesn't make a difference, anyways, because even if I'm right onto his back, throughout the whole S's, I just have to stay in behind him. And even like you see, I lost so much momentum at the beginning of the straight, but you can you can see just after we get to the end of the S's, I'm just gonna be right on his back, like bumper to bumper. So. I'm just gonna have to stay consistent myself, lap consistently and as quick as possible and wait, just wait for an opening, wait for a mistake because through the S's you can't really go for a move, you know, unless the car up ahead has no grip and you have all the grip in the world so you can go around the outside. So I'm just gonna have to stay behind, going around the final turn, really really long right hander and he's just about got, like, got the better exit and he's got the straight line speed as well so he's just gonna pull away from me. But this, this, it's just lap 4, so beginning of lap 4 or 5, I don't know. So it's just the, the beginning of the lap, so we're gonna have to see. Going towards turn 1, and oh, there's the mistake, there's the opening. He's binned it, he's not completely binned it, but he's gone wide. He's got sucked off by the astroturf, astroturf on the left hand side. So here, right now, it's just, I have to just uh, uh, lap really quickly from now on through the SS, go through the SS really quickly. So he can't be he, he's not close enough as we go down the main street, so he can't go past me. So going through the S's, taking really nice lines as we as we go around to lap someone after like three minutes, four minutes, good stuff. So go around the final corner, we need a good exit, so he can't be he can't go past us on the main street. So we get a good exit, going towards the line to start uh, the next lap. As you can see, he's coming back at me, he's pulling back, but he's not we going to be close enough to go for a move or do anything into a turn 1 and 2. So just clipping the apexes really nicely and the 3 DSs I just have to lap consistently and quickly just to get away from him. And as you can see here, we skip about a lap, a lap or two, I still don't remember. As, a, as you guys know, I'm far back from my laptop so I don't even know what lap I'm in. So as we lap someone else again, you know, after like 6 laps, so or oh, seven laps, yeah, I think seven laps. So we go around the final corner and I go just about a little bit too quick and uh, oh, nice bottle did, absolute bottle job. And I go off at, at the final corner and he's just gonna pull over from me unless he makes a really, really horrific mistake. Like, I don't know, go into a tire wall, go way too wide into turn one and two, which I don't think he will because that guy was quick. I raced him a couple more times, he was quick. And so I'm just gonna have to stay behind for such a place, I guess. But you know, race is not over yet. The race is not over yet. As we lap another car, he might make a mistake. You know, just you, uh, you know, touch the curb in a bad way, and the curb is just gonna spin you around. And the opening, 
comes in and I can go past him into first place again. So as you can see here, getting closer and closer to him after each turn and going, through, uh, going towards final corner and I just about, yeah, I was pushing too hard basically, I go in way too quick again and I go off, it didn't really matter, I wasn't going to catch him up anyway. So, after all of that, I'm just going to have to settle in for a second place, you know, basically he bottled it, I capitalized, went into first, and then again, I bottled it, he capitalized, he went into first place. So, you know, basically, uh, top to turbo race, but uh, we, get, uh, we get that race done, it was a good race anyway, I don't mind it. So, it just seemed kind of annoying that you, you know, you know kind of bottle the race yourself. So, we move on to the next race, Watkins Glen, probably my favorite track in Forza, in my favorite car, Noble M600. So, starting pretty much dead last, and now, going towards the infamous S's, we have someone up our inside, we have to give him space, he goes through into first place. A lot of touring cars, especially just the, you know, just the Audi, I don't know what's, what's the deal with people using this car, it's really not competitive at all. Someone, another one comes through and looking up here towards the bus of Shikiri, there's contact and <laughs> the guy in the Viper and the AMG GTR both bend it into the tire wall. Amazing stuff there, you know, the bus stop chicane claiming even more victims. Th there's no way, if you have 50, 17 people in love, there's no way that at least one guy is not going to end up in that tire wall. So anyways, it's, that was not the end of it, because as you can see here, these two GT40s, again, they, go, they went on straight into the tire wall. It's uh, really not ideal to do that. You, you don't want to go, you don't want to drive straight into the tire wall, because it's not going to help you. Someone else binned it on the curb and spun into the wall. Great stuff. I, I don't know what's wrong with people. I, honestly, I, I overtook so many people, and not a single one was like actually me overtaking if, if apart from that Audi that I run, run around the outside all of them every single one of them they were just they, they just crashed themselves and the, you just like that we're up into fifth place so really good progress from pretty much dead last and now we're up into fifth so we're approaching the end of the video you know there's still about a minute and a half left but I'm just gonna say the goodbyes here I'm gonna leave you with the ending just just a bonus for all my loyal and lovely viewers who make it make it all the way to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to uh, hit the like button uh, if you enjoyed of course don't leave right now there's still some part of the video left and uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more of the same content so thank you for watching all the way until here and we're just gonna leave you here guys see you in the next video goodbye